This is AIR. Artists in Residence Broadcasting. Coming to you once a week from New York City. Hello, I'm John Cullum, and this is my wife, Emily Frankel. And we're going to talk today about... What are we going to talk about? I'm in the mood to talk about anything with you, but I was uh-huh. thinking uh-huh. of favorite liars. Favorite, Who are favorite liars. Mm, favorite People li- and things that we are bombarded with that we don't believe, that we think are lies, big uh, lies. Prevaricators. Okay, so this is for M's Talkery, my blog. Yeah. And I want to hear what John has to say. Uh, well, the big. I guess the big item is advertising that annoys me. Ooh, favorite, yeah. I guess favorite here means favoritely unpleasant. Bound, you know, bound. We don't like them. We don't want to say advertising we hate, but actually we hate it. Yeah, well, um, we have to put up with advertising in order to get uh, programs that we like, but I don't see why we have to put up with all this prevarication. And For instance... We don't like the constant, sweet-faced, kindly guys who are advertising fracking or the wonderful things that oil companies are going to do, including BP, and they keep changing their names so we don't really know if it's Halliburton (laughs) or BP or whatever the evil guy is. But one of those evil oil companies, including Exxon, yeah, they get the, they get they get more and more gracious and gentle and oh, are we doing wonderful things for yeah. you? You can trust us, except yeah. that we know many people who have been inveigled into signing papers and agreeing to fracking, which is allowing them to drill under their land in order to get natural gas from under the land, and it's created flames and undrinkable water, and diseases, and et cetera, et cetera. It's not to go into that, we're talking about the guys themselves who have created these awful ads. Okay. Yeah, well, as long as we're talking about ads, uh, the ones that bother me a lot of them are the medical ads, the uh, advertising of, uh, of different kinds of uh, cures and medications, and, and they're, they're in, they're, they just seem like they... If you don't, you you may die here, and you could get diarrhea, and you could get sick, and you could lose your mind, and you may never feel normal again, and you'll vomit, and they mention in great... Yeah, but that's very interesting to me, that the one place where they don't lie, they just have to go on and on and on, all these denials of things, or all these uh, these, uh, uh, things that cover them in terms of liability, they have to list enormous, terrible things. I don't know why anybody would ever want to take that medication. Well, those are the guys that are keeping a lot of the current major television shows alive yeah. with their ads. Now, John, yes, darling. let's get to Tempur-Pedic. Oh, well, that's, Our pers- pals. that's, that's kind of personal. I don't no, know. it's not. We think Tempur-Pedic mattresses are not good. Oh. And picture, wait a minute, I think John doesn't. John is a good guy. I am not a good guy. Well, I get mean. We have a Tempur-Pedic mattress we bought in Malibu. It's a king-size mattress. It costs an awful lot of money. And we bought it because we liked it, Emily. We thought it was a wonderful kind of a, a mattress, and it was it it helped us in uh, in several ways. Because uh, I'm 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 not a very I'm I'm a kind of rambling sleeper and and, and cause a lot of movement, and that. Disturbed you? On I like the way you sleep. Oh, you do. Would you sleep with me? <laughs> Wait a minute. On a let's regular get, basis. Let's get back to. You can stay in our bed. <laughs> I like you staying in our bed, but no. our Tempur-Pedic mattress no. has lumps. That's true. It has gotten lumps and kind of uh, sags in it. It sags in the middle, and we have tried, I think, three times with kindly letters, with phone calls, to contact. Tempur-Pedic, and we are told all kinds of things that we need to do. Mostly, we need to take photographs of the lumps, except that there's no way to take a photograph of a lump or a sag in a mattress. They've even given us instructions about how to do that, but it wouldn't work. 
we can't get anybody here. <laughs> and they keep saying, oh, we are very glad that you're our customers. And so finally we are saying, we don't trust Tempur-Pedic mattresses. And if you're thinking of buying one, don't buy one. That's what M says. Well, uh, actually, what we're doing is living with the lumps. Yes. We're living and with the sag. <laughs> and the sags. But oh, we're doing well. all right. All right, John. Oh, was that, was Hold that my all? hand. Oh, my God. Mm. I yes. like you, John. Well, are you, you know sure what? you're not lying to me? Are you lying to me? Are you my Ed? <laughs> <laughs> I believe you whether Okay, I, well, I we'll see you next week, and we're signing off now. All right. This is AIR. See you next week.